bad movies. We've all seen them. For every Schindler's List out there, there are at least two dozen Battlefield Earths. But what does it truly mean to say that something is the absolute worst movie ever made? Is there even a film that exists that holds absolutely no value? Let's face it. In order to consider a movie to be the worst film ever made, it has to strike out on every single note that could possibly redeem it. The acting has to be absolutely deplorable. The plot has to be nonsensical or beyond the realm of stupidity. The soundtrack has to be the equivalent of nails on a chalkboard. The writing, directing, production value, the way the film was even shot. All of these factors have to align in the worst possible way in order to make out the worst film that was truly ever made. But look back on so-called worst movies ever made. A quick search through the internet reveals many contenders. From the abysmal Manos the Hands of Fate to The Master of Disguise, from Troll 2, all the way to Ballistic X vs. Sever. Many so-called worst movies ever made lists have a lot of common elements, but they are all lacking one thing. The real, true, worst movie ever made. I know, that's a bold statement, but I guarantee that any list you ever find on the internet does not include the worst movie ever made. How is this possible? Surely, years of research, reviews, repeated viewings of different films, there can't be any way that the worst film ever made has slipped under the radar of so many people. But I'm here to tell you that it has. And the reason why you haven't seen this movie? Because it's the worst fucking movie that was ever released. Think about it. Of all the factors that play into putting something in the category of worst film ever made, wouldn't one of said factors be, this movie is so damn awful that humans shouldn't have to lay their own eyes upon it. It's the equivalent of watching something so horrifying and traumatizing that you would go to any lengths to never have it see the light of day, and to prevent any other person from going through the same torture that you yourself has been put through. But let's double back just a little bit. I want to talk about some of these so-called worst movies ever made, and find a common element that actually disqualifies them. I'll start with a classic that most people know, Troll 2. It's been long agreed that this film pretty much takes the cake in the competition of worst movie. I mean, hell, it has its own documentary called Best Worst Movie. It was released in 1990 and pretty much nobody saw it back then. The cast and crew agreed that it was pretty bad and didn't want to dredge up broken memories of this horrific film. That is, until it was released on DVD. And oh boy, did this movie take off into the bowels of cult status. The acting was hammed up to the max. The effects were laughable and all around this movie was bad, with a capital B-A-D. I admit, the first time that I watched it, I was stunned. I'd never seen anything like it before, and I didn't think I ever would again. But this movie has one fatal flaw. It's so bad, it's actually enjoyable. There's nothing better than getting a big group of friends together, slapping in the Blu-ray copy, and just getting plastered while watching a proverbial train wreck unfold on the screen. You're almost guaranteed to laugh until your sides hurt. So that brings me back to my point. How could this be the worst movie ever made if you can get enjoyment out of watching it? Sure, the movie completely misfires in its mission to bring a bit of entertainment, but it still gives it to you nonetheless, even if you're just enjoying all of its flaws. Also, to go back to a throwaway line from earlier, this film has a Blu-ray release. A Blu-ray release! There's a ton of films that haven't gotten that luxury. Either because of low demand or distribution rights, there are a great many films that haven't been released on the format that have a well-deserved spot on the list. All of these factors easily disqualify it from being the worst movie ever made. So, we have to dig a little deeper. We have to go into a dark place where the movies are not only terrible, but they're so bad that they're actually bad. I know that sounds redundant, but think about it. If you're going to call something the worst movie ever made, there can't be any inkling inside you that says, that movie was so bad it made me laugh. No. Something that is truly the worst cannot bring happiness. All that should surround this is a dark cloud of depressing dread. 
A movie has to be so god awful that you don't want anyone else to watch it. You don't want to watch it again and heaven forbid you don't want anyone to even know it exists. I'm breaking my own rule here by even mentioning this movie, but it's also so terrible, so mesmerizingly soul crushing that I have to end this debate once and for all. This is the end all be all and I challenge no dare you to find a movie worse than this pile of absolute garbage. The movie I'm referring to is Science Crazed. I'm not surprised you've probably never even heard of it. Therefore, how bad could this possibly be? I'll stop your train of thought right there. Whatever you're possibly thinking, I'm here to steer you in the right direction. This film, and I use that term in very loose quotes, was a shot on video horror film. It was filmed in 1987, but it wasn't even released until 1991. While it does have an availability on DVD, I would not suggest buying it. Actually, I take that back. I do recommend buying it, but never watch it. Never. What is seen cannot be unseen. The sole purpose of owning this movie would only be for the fact that you could say that you own the worst movie that was ever made. And I hope to God this movie is never released on Blu-ray. It doesn't deserve that. It barely deserves its DVD release. Now I'm sure by now you may be asking yourself, what is it about this that makes it the worst movie ever made? Literally everything about it. There's not one single redeeming factor in this movie. The plot makes almost no sense. There are strange cuts into different scenes and for the most part you can't even tell what's going on. Add that onto the bottom of the barrel acting, the subpar special effects, and the excruciating sound editing, this thing is, is, is just a mess. Just a hot mess. I looked this thing up on the more popular movie review sites that are nearly everyone's go-to. IMDB has it sitting at a 3.5. This is a joke. There are skewed reviews. Now, a few people as a joke, I'm sure, have rated this film as an 8 or a 10 and left a detailed analysis of this film in a review. This was purely in jest and only to trick someone into watching this thing. Nobody has a reason to watch this. It's fucking awful. It practically doesn't even exist on Rotten Tomatoes. There are only three user ratings and that's it. I can only hope that all three of those are rated half a star but that's being entirely too generous. This doesn't even deserve a zero. It doesn't deserve any kind of rating because there is only one way to describe this movie and that's by calling it the absolute worst movie of all time. And I'm 100% serious. I've watched it once and that was five times too many. The only redeeming factor here is the fact that I'll never see another movie as bad as this. I probably still haven't even convinced you, but I will. Here's a clip from this movie. This is raw, unedited, straight from the film itself. I haven't done anything to this. This clip lasts exactly five minutes, which is half of what the clip is on YouTube. I can't even bring myself to show you the entire clip. And I have no doubt in my mind that you're going to skip forward to get away from it. That's why I'm telling you how long it is. So I'll even leave a timer at the bottom of the screen for you so you can just see how much of your life is wasting away.
You see that? If you skipped ahead to get away from it, then my point has already been made. Literally less than five minutes was enough. And the entire movie is like that! The whole thing! This was written, directed, produced, and edited by the same person. And I'm honestly surprised it wasn't also starring them. I don't even know how any cast and crew showed up to be in this movie. It's a mystery. Were they even actors? Was there an actual crew? This movie, for all I know, could have been created by aliens as a way to infiltrate the human race and destroy our minds by melting our brains. The weapon was just a misfire and, and ineffective on the most population. The pure existence of this movie sparks a range of emotions. Rage, curiosity, sadness, but nowhere does it spark joy. There is no happiness found in the 90 minutes it takes for this wandering mess of a movie to find its end. I wish I could like this movie. I thought finding the worst movie ever made would be an accomplishment. Instead, I've stared into the eyes of Cthulhu, and my very existence is no more. I am no longer human after watching this. I am but a shell of wandering curiosity. There is no coming back after you see this. And I will actually argue until the bitter end that this is the worst movie that ever was and ever will be made. Nothing can top it and nothing before it comes close. So I just want you to think twice before proclaiming something you saw was the worst movie ever made. Because I know good and well it wasn't. Unless that movie was science crazed. In which case, you're goddamn right. This has been the Movie Maniac, the only man crazy enough to bring you something like this.